I have designed this speaker to amplify my thoughts. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a requested one. It was actually recently requested that I share with you guys my favorite, my must have, top, best drugstore eyeshadow palettes. So if you want to find out what they are, I've broken them down by brand, kind of like little mini subcategories. This video doesn't mean that you need to buy all of them or that you have to own all of these palettes. I just thought it'd be fun to share them with you guys and give you a little more insight, know what to do, but just keep on watching. All right, so let's start with ColourPop. ColourPop is a drugstore affordable brand. You can find them online. I think now they sell ColourPop at both Ulta and Sephora. And these two palettes had to come into this video. I had to bring them up to play because they're both very, very amazing for two very different reasons. So the first one is the Yes Please palette. This is a pressed powder shadow palette that has 12 shadows in it. And it has the most glorious, most beautiful, magnificent, just blend of matte shadows and shimmery foiled shadows. I love them so much for summer because it's so vibrant and so pretty. It's just the perfect pop of color. This is the kind of palette you want in your collection if you have a lot of neutrals, you have a lot of natural palettes for every day, but you want something that's gonna give you a pop of color. Maybe you wanna mix in a pop of color every now and again, maybe on the lower lash line, maybe just on the lid, just something to add a little more fun and pop and pizzazz to your everyday look. You can have this little palette in your stash and just pop it out when you need just that pop of color and you're good to go. 12 shades, super affordable, super incredible quality. And again, this is the Yes Please palette from ColourPop. The second palette is the I Think I Love You palette. I love this, it's amazing. This is the foiled palette of your dreams. If you love metallics, shiny, super intense, highlighting just in your face eyeshadow you want this palette. It's so pretty, it's so creamy, and there isn't very much fallout. It basically just gets on your eye and it stays, which is fantastic. You're not losing product, you're not wasting product, and I'm just very much blown away. Again, 12 shades. I think I love you needs to be in your collection if you are into foiled shadows. Now moving on to one of my favorite brands from the drugstore because they're affordable, but their products are just insane. I don't know how they manage to sell their products so cheap because their products definitely are not cheap in quality and I'm talking about Wet n Wild. The first palette I want to mention is from their original collection of eight pan shadows. This is the Comfort Zone palette. This was sold a couple of years ago and they've recently revamped their eight pan palettes to look like this but they have this old palette still available online you can find it on amazon and ebay and places like that but this one in comfort zone really is something that makes me step out of my comfort zone actually it does have a lot of neutrals and things to play with but i feel like this fun duochrome bluish brown this duochrome kind of green really fun colors that are different they're all shimmery there isn't any matte in here but i like that because sometimes for holidays or just for i don't know events you want something a little bit more shimmery and sparkly i really love the comfort zone palette and again this was recently revamped into to this palette style, into this kind of palette style where it actually has two more shades added to it. So it has 10 shades now. So you can find the newly formulated, newly packaged um, comfort zone at CVS, Walgreens, places like that. But I had to mention the OG because this is the one I reach for all the time and you can still find this one online. If you're like me and you're more partial to this design because I like this bigger size pan palette, I don't know. I'm just more partial to the aesthetic of this palette, but you can still pick it up today and it's still just as amazingly creamy and I have it actually in my drawer down there somewhere. The other Wet n Wild palette I wanted to mention is a newer one. It's called Not A Basic Peach and it's fantastic. If you love warm burnt oranges and cranberries and bright oranges and like a touch of turquoise blue, gold shimmer, and then of course a nice transitioning shade and a vanilla for highlighting. Fantastic, super creamy. I can just do an eye look with this and this only. I love it. Not a basic peach is definitely not a basic palette. I love it. And the last Wet n Wild palette, maybe limited edition, I don't know. I bought this a couple years ago. It's in collab with Fergie and this is the Photo Focus Studio Eyeshadow palette it's called the Milano collections and it's a beautiful neutral palette that is so pigmented so creamy you have a nice mixture again of mattes and shimmers it's one of the most I like to say high-end palettes that I own that's drugstore which I don't know how that's possible but it is super creamy and super pigmented and for the price was definitely blown away by this Fergie palette. So I'll try to look for it online and uh, link it for you guys. I love it. Phenomenal. 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 So these next three palettes are from three different drugstore brands, but I kind of grouped them together to quickly go through them because they're brands you can find at any typical CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, blah, blah, blah. And they're all amazing. So the first one is the City Mini palette from Maybelline. This one is called Rooftop Bronzes and it is 
incredible. This is a six pan palette full of nothing but shimmery, shimmery, beautifully metallic shadows that are creamy, easy to apply. Again, very little to no fallout. Adore it adore it especially the highlighting shades they're amazing and then the covergirl true nakeds palettes all of them are amazing they're all incredible but this one in particular is my favorite goldens i have two of them this is the one i take with me everywhere i travel with it i've almost hit pan on this neutral transitioning shade already i love it that much this creamy vanilla great for highlighting under the brow bone this beautiful yellow gold for highlighting the inner tear duct and then this bronzy gold all fantastic highlighting shades and then you get deeper darker and bronzier for the outer corner just to vamp things up shade underneath the lower lash line it's a beautiful palette i love it so impressed with this it's amazing and the last drugstore in that little subcategory is milani and this is the earthy elements everyday eyes this has six pans of shadow again i love it because of that burnt orange but then you have lots of pretty neutral shades enough shimmery champagne shades for highlighting and it's just fantastic overall in fact i even used a little bit of this one shade right here to highlight the cheekbones a little bit it's just a great palette to travel with it's kind of like your one and done palette because you can do your eyes and your face and i love it so this next one i want to mention i actually just recently mentioned this if you watched my last video but it's from flower beauty by drew barrymore and this is the shimmer and shade eyeshadow palette in golden natural and it's just that it's a beautiful neutral natural palette that has a lot of goldens shimmers amazing bronzy beautiful just fantastic enchanting palette i love it bonus that it comes with its own blending brush which i think is awesome that's included when you purchase the palette i think that's a great deal this next palette is probably one of the pricier ones from the drugstore but it is drugstore you can find it at target and it's one of my favorite neutral matte palettes when i want to do just a matte looking eye and i want to use a drugstore palette this is from sonia cash and this is the Ion Neutral Matte Number no. 2 palette. It's been said that this is a dupe for so many high-end brands and it's so quality. You have 3, 6, 9, 12 shades again from the lightest of vanillas to the darkest of blacks and it's the most beautiful, beautiful palette for any look. Whether you want to do a smoky eye, you stick up here. If you want to do a more cool tone look, you go over here. If you want something light and peachy, you go here. It's just the perfect palette. Even if you are doing a more shimmery or just a very vibrant, bold eye with other palettes that you already own but you want something Thing that's perfect for transitioning and you can't find it in one of your other palettes you have a couple different shades in here that are perfect for that so you can reach for this for transitioning shades for highlighting and then move on to another palette to do any and everything else but honestly i've done so many great looks with this palette by itself it's that amazing it's 19.99 so incredible incredibly high-end in quality. It's luxury to me. I love it so, so, so much. And again, it's the Ion Neutral Matte Number no. 2 from Sonia Kashuk. And I guess now we're winding down to the very last category. I have three palettes from this brand, and if you have watched this far, you're probably wondering why I haven't mentioned them yet, and here I am. I'm about to mention them. E.L.F. E.L.F. is amazing, affordable. You can find them at Target. I think now they're on the Ulta website. They're an amazing brand. And I have three palettes to share with you. The first one is the Mad for Matte. talked about this guy time and time again on my channel. It's the perfect matte palette. Again, very very, very comparable to the Sonia Kashuk and this one is $10 this one is 20 I still think I like both of them I think that this one offers a few more shades than this one doesn't but they're both amazingly amazing and I just love 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 the color combination because you have your cooler tones your taupes your peaches your soft rosy shades but then you still have your neutral khakis and browns and things like that amazing creamy super blendable palette from elf mad for matte and also the mad for matte 2 is also really really good because it veers a little bit punchier, a little bit more pinky and purpley, but you still have these pretty softer colors, pastels and pinks and roses to transition with or just do a simple everyday neutral you know, daytime friendly eye look. So I love it. And you get that nice deep matte black and a beautiful chocolatey brown, which is great in my book. I love having darker colors like that to play with to kind of smoke out the outer edge or just simply line the lower lash line, which will help your eyes to pop and just bring them more to attention. So love that. And the last palette from e.l.f. is from their Prism Eyeshadow Collection. This is the one called Naked. And this literally looks like wet cream shadows that are foiled. This is one of the first palettes I ever bought from e.l.f. Still blowing me away to this day. I love love it it's so fun for fall it's so coppery and just fantastic so that's it guys that rounds up my video i just mentioned one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven palettes hopefully this helped you guys a little bit if you were on the hunt for anything drugstore related in the eyeshadow palette kind of direction hopefully this helped you out let me know if you have anything you think that i should have mentioned or that maybe i just don't own it yet and i need it in my collection let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe and share this video with anyone interested in eyeshadow especially from the drugstore i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to request any future ideas you may want to see on my channel and 
other than that, that's pretty much it. Don't have anything else to say or share. Until next week, I will see you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.